அனைவருக்கும் இனிய மாலை வணக்கம் நம்ம குழு வந்து ப்ரோலிட்டேரியட் பிளீடர்ஸ் குழு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா காலை ஐந்து மணிக்கும் மாலை நேரங்களில் செவன் தேர்ட்டி பிஎம்க்கும் வந்து சட்டம் சார்ந்த வகுப்பு கூட தொடர்ச்சியாக நடத்திட்டு வரோம் மாலை நேரங்களில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சட்டம் சார்ந்த துறையில் அந்த துறையில் நிபுணர்களாக இருக்கவங்களை கூப்பிட்டு வந்து நம்ம வந்து வகுப்பில் தொடர்ச்சி எடுத்துட்டு வரோம் அந்த வகையில் இன்னைக்கு நமக்காக எடுக்க வரவங்க பாருன்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஜெயச்சித்ரா மேடம் இவங்க வந்து மெட்ராஸ் ஹைகோர்ட்டில் வந்து அட்வொகேட்டாக ப்ராக்டிஸ் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்காங்க மேடத்தை பற்றி நிறைய பேர்த்துக்கு நல்லா தெரிஞ்சிருக்கும் ஏன்னா மேடத்தோட வீடியோஸ் நிறைய யூடியூப்பில் இருக்கு ரொம்ப அருமையாக அழகாக கிளாஸ் எடுப்பாங்க உங்களுக்கு இந்த வகுப்பும் எடுத்தனால நம்ம நித்திய கல்யாண மேடம் அவங்களோட ஃப்ரெண்டு மூலியமாக நம்ம அப்ரோச் பண்ணி எடுத்து கொடுக்கணும்னு சொன்னதுனால நம்ம சொன்ன உடனே நம்ம எடுத்து கொடுக்கணும்னு சொல்லி நமக்காக வந்துக்கிறாங்க இன்னைக்கு நமக்காக எடுக்கக்கூடிய டாபிக் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் உமன் ஃப்ரம் டொமஸ்டிக் வயலன்ஸ் ஆக்ட் இந்த ஆக்ட் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சிவில் வழக்கறிஞராக இருந்தாலும் சரி கிரிமினல் வழக்கறிஞராக இருந்தாலும் சரி எல்லாருமே இந்த வழக்குகளையும் இந்த சட்டத்தையும் சிறப்பாக கையாள வேண்டிய தேவை நமக்கு இருக்கு அதனால வகுப்பை சிறப்பாக பயன்படுத்திக்கிட்டு கண் கவனிச்சுக்கோங்க இந்த வகுப்பு அந்த சட்டத்தில் எதுவும் உங்களுக்கு சந்தேகம் இருக்குன்னா வகுப்பு முடிவில் ஆண்ட்ரைஸ் பண்ணுங்கள் நம்ம கால் பண்ணுவோம் உங்களுக்கு டவுட்டாக மேடம் வந்து கிளாரிட்டி பண்ணுவாங்க ஓகே தேங்க்யூ மேடம் நம்ம வகுப்புக்குள்ளே போகலாம் மேடம் நன்றி மேடம் நான்ஜெக்ட்ஜெக்ட்ஜெக்ட்ஜெக்ட்ஜெக்ட்ஜெக்ட்ஜெக்ட்ஜெக்ட்ஜெக்ட்ஜெக்ட்ஜெக்
rather than women so and the mariana nerangal it was like men women are vandu romba submerged panni avangaloda rights ella parikira madriyana soolalgal nareya edangalle erpattuchu so uh, that led to so many harassments later on so and and the power vandu misuse panni adu moolama nariya harassments for example dowry is a concept uh, which arose yeah adu vandu or aan pen veetla nindha dhaan vaangano nra concept yen varudhu because the society was like that earlier aan sambarikkiram pen na innor veetu katti kudukrom so the uh, concept of dowry arose like that so indha maadhiri dhaan over prachniyu uruvaite irundhathu so there was a necessity to protect women exclusively see yen uh, domestic violence act tha protect panadha nu ketta munadi protection was there in ipc also but it's not like a, 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 the uh, in the act mulama the major difference enna na ipc la exclusive women ku ne indha mariyana harassments idhula cover panirukra maadhiriyana definitions kudutu anga cover pannala oru tha adikran titran kolran na appo ipc la generally criminal proceedings eppadi initiate panna mudiyumo adhu dhaan panna mudiyum but this act after this act the, the scope of uh, protection to the women was enlarged so ad ad romba major ah enlarge pannanga and various form of protection kuduka aramchaanga and uh, um, women under various cadres were being protected by this act so and the and the uh, that was the reason society or and the nelayla women undergo panna harassments prevent pandradhukaga da in the act kondu varanga so in the act vandadukaprama the uh, distinction major a romba women and uh, men kana distinction avand um, erase panni uh, the protection to women was enlarged and um, especially the object of the act was that uh, if, uh, it, this was the background that why domestic violence was needed and the act edukaga theva pattuchingradoda background adha dhaan so modha modha act vandu officially the pro protection of women from domestic violence act 2005 was brought into force by indian government from october 2006 The Domestic Violence Act was originally passed by Parliament in August 2005 and subsequently assented to by President in September of the same year. So, November 2007, the Domestic Violence Act was ratified by four of the 28 states uh, in India. The, now, we'll go to the salient features of the Domestic Violence Act. See, uh, Domestic Violence Act le. just uh, in the act order salient features and and apdi paaka porom see uh, the object of the act is to protect women but how to whom apdi ingrathu da idoda features so first thing is in the act vand uh, largely it covers women who or have been in a relationship with the abuser any woman who have been in a relationship with the abuser uh, see the abuse is the word which is very important criteria in the act so anyone who has been abused can seek protection under the act so in the any woman who has been in a relationship with the abuser where both parties have lived together in a shared household this is a very important word in the act because shared household is a very important criteria in the act ninga invoke pannu nenikkum bodu shared household is a very important criteria so yaar ore veetla onna vaalndirukanga adla vandu there may be confusion that onna irundha avanga ellarume varamudiyuma because there is a general presumption that women who are married avangalkana prachnaigala saarndha dhaan domestic violence act no or presumption irukku but that's not the case here um women who live together in a shared household and related by consanguinity see consanguinity means that uh, nama blood relation adhaadhu veetukullaye or annan thangai kelekira neethi and annan thangai kelekira abuse or sisters ku kudukradhu or father to the daughter these are all the relationships which comes into the play and the madriyana relationships la abuse nadakkum bodu kuda in the act kulla avanga protection eduthukka mudiyum so that's a very important point because general misconception is that uh, only married women avangalukku da idla protection adu madri da namba general life la apply pandradnal there's a misconception on that that we have to be very clear and then 
ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் இன் தி நேச்சர் ஆஃப் மேரேஜ் ஸோ இப்போ த ப்ரெசன்ட் சென்னாரியோ இஸ் கல்யாணம் பண்ணிக்காமையே கூட சில பேர் சேர்ந்து வாழ்றாங்க வி ஆல் நோ தட் வி கால் இட் ஆஸ் லிவ் இன் ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் ஸோ தட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ பீங் கவர்ட் அண்ட் தி ஆக்ட் அந்த மாதிரியான ரிலேஷன்ஷிப்ஸ்ல ஒரு அபியூஸ் நடக்கும் போதும் இந்த ஆக்ட் கீழே அவங்க ப்ரொடெக்ஷன் எடுத்துக்க முடியும் ஸோ தட்ஸ் அ வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபீச்சர் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஆக்ட் so uh, and uh, the women who are such as sisters widows mothers single women living with the abuser are entitled to get relief under this act so in the madri uh, 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 these are the uh, Uh, the range of relationships in the madriyana uravugal la irukkiravanga kuda not only the husband and wife these sort of women who have relationship and sh- being in a shared re- uh, shared household ore veetla vaandukitte edho or abuse nadakkudhu appadinu bodhu they can seek relief under this act as the main feature of the act so next okay abuse nadakkudhu what sort of abuse abingiradha adutha aspect in the act so what sort of abuse nu eduthukumbodhu it can be an actual abuse or threat of abuse or than the nejamave or thangala kaaya padathala either by orally or physically or something abuse pannala or even threat of abuse also comes under the play so on the madri physical sexual verbal emotional and economic economic is very important thing which i want to stress ena nam nenjirpo ta adicha odane titina odane idukku da nama pogum mudiyum so but economic uh, abuse is also an important criteria those cases also for women this act will come into play to protect them economically if a man is in a higher position and he is not feeding his wife he is not paying any money to the wife or the children or a man is not paying any amount to the daughter or taking care of a daughter so that case also the act will come into the play and persons can go and seek their remedy under this act the harassment by way of unlawful dowry demands to the women or her relatives would also be covered under the act so i as i said namba vand economic demands nu sollum bodu dowry harassments also comes under the play you know or the vand just because he is a man he is demanding from a woman nee ivlo kudukano avlo kudukano nu solrathu it's an, it comes under the economic stature of a people so adile varum bodu that sort of an abuse also comes under the uh, uh, play and uh, the act will give protection to those things also so next one the uh, see the first thing யார் என்ன மாதிரி ரிலேஷன்ஷிப்ல அண்ட் என்ன மாதிரியான அபியூஸ் நடக்கும் போது இந்த ஆக்ட் ப்ரொடெக்ஷனுக்கு வரும்னு சொல்லியாச்சு நெக்ஸ்ட் வந்து இந்த ஆக்ட்ல ஒரு ஸ்பெஷல் ஃபீச்சர் ஒன்று இருக்கு என்னன்னா நாட் இன் அதர் ஆக்ட்ஸ் மற்ற ஆக்ட்ஸ்ல எல்லாம் இல்லாத ஒன்று இங்க இருக்கு என்னன்னா ரெசிடென்ஸ் ஆர்டர்னு சொல்லுவாங்க ஸோ ரெசிடென்ஸ் ஆர்டர் வந்து இட் கேன் பி பாஸ்ட் பை த மேஜிஸ்ட்ரேட்ஸ் விச் ப்ரிவென்டிங் இப்போ ஒரு ஒரு உமன் இருக்காங்க அவங்க வந்து திடீர்னு ஒரு வீட்டில இருந்து வெளியில தள்ளிடுறாங்க அவங்களுக்கு எங்க போகணும்னே வழி இல்லாத போது தி தே கேன் அப்ரோச் தி மேஜிஸ்ட்ரேட் அண்ட் கெட் தி ரெசிடென்ஸ் ஆர்டர் வேர் பிகாஸ் and the article 21 everybody has a right to live a right to shelter is a fundamental right so and the right to enforce pandra vidama namakku vande in the residence order in the act la kuduthirukanga so when there is any woman being sent out of a driven out of a home then they'll be uh, asked our magistrate can protect them Uh, by passing a residence order avanga inda veetla vaalnu appdinu or order kodutha adu enforce pandrathukku inda act la vali pannirukanga and then uh, we go to the next uh, salient feature that is uh, um, see uh, ipo nama residence order sonna maari there are other orders which uh, magistrate can pass under this act adle important aanad enna na see ipo normally criminal cases la ipc la la vande if any person is committing an offense avangalukana punishments dhaan adla kadaikum yen in the act la it is very different abin paakum bodu these orders specifically in the residence order adukaprama the magistrate magistrate can prevent any person from communicating ஒரு அபியூஸ்ட் पर्सन இருக்காங்க அவங்கள தொடர்ந்து ஃபோன் பண்ணி தொல்ல பண்றதோ இல்ல அவங்க வேலை செய்யற இடத்துக்கு போய் அவங்கள தொல்ல பண்றதோ இல்ல அவங்களுக்கு சப்போர்ட் பண்ணனும் நினைக்கிற யாரையோ வந்து அவங்க டிஸ்டர்ப பண்றது இந்த மாதிரியான ஆக்டிவிட்டيز நடக்கும்போது மேஜிஸ்ட்ரேட் can on an application filed by the abused person or aggrieved person magistrate can pass an order restricting them from doing such an act so on the odd on the particular uh, part of this act is and the salient feature of this act is very very special which um, by that feature women are being greatly protected under this act uh, 
so idu mattum illama because adhil important thing enna na it is not only the women who is being abused and uh, the yaar and the women ku support panna varaangalo avangalukku protection illa nu vechukonga they will not come forward to support that women so for them also the magistrate can pass an order uh, restricting them from arresting or something any preventive order that magistrate has powers to pass under this act so the next salient feature is uh appointment of protection officers ngos to provide assistance to the women such as medical examination legal aid and safe shelter see the in the act kile vand there is another salient feature illa enna na if uh, a grieved any woman was being abused many of the cases even the family may not be there for the for helping them so on the madriana cases la there are in, in the act clear the act empowers uh, to uh, to authorize a special like ngos or any company who is volunteering themselves to help women and the madriana ngos yo illa avangala la appoint panni to protect women there can be shelter homes so shelter home medical assistance adukaprama yaradu injured a irukumboda avangala examine panni and the and the protection officers in their act provision iruk in the section ninga para act la padichinga there is a provision for appointment of protection officers so ipo in the protection officers oda role vandu in the act la romba important avanga enna pannuvaanga in the madri abused persons vandu they will go approach them uh, psychologically and physically they will assess them and file a report before the magistrates and the report are based on the magistrates can give orders so the role of the protection officers and the ngos child homes plays very importance in the in this act so and the and the madri and the provisions ella in the act moolama da kondu varanga so in the act la it is empowered that to create a shelter home anga abused person poi thanga vekkala avangala paadukaaka mudiyum and also the medical assistance adellamu in the act la kuduthirukanga that is very important salient feature of this act and then uh the final thing that is if yaraache uh, pa indha mari protection la kudukranga illa so magistrate oda indha order violate pannum bodu uh, there is a punishment imprisonment for a term of 1 year or 25000 rupees fine or both so idu idu one of the salient features ena or protection kudukradhu mukkiya illa we all know being lawyers namakku vandu or order vaangradhu kuda periya vishayam illa and order enforce pandradho and order implement pandradhu periya task so unless there is any punishment given nobody will obey that so adu madri in the act there is a check that if somebody is violating the interim order passed by the court or a magistrate then they will be punished with one year imprisonment or 25000 rupees of fine or both so these are all the salient in actual na thirumba or thara quick ah solidren one first salient feature is that yaar ella vande in the act kula uh, they can come and seek remedy under the act that is what the first so na sonna madri sisters uh, widows mothers single women or live in relationship la irukra women they all can come and um, are the may, uh, other major criteria of women is that uh, marital relationship la indha mari nirakarikapadra pengal avangalo vandu in that protection theedalam and ya enna madriyana abuses irukala na physical sexual verbal emotional and economic abuse irukum bodhu you can um, you can seek protection under this act and the other the preventive orders like residence order and the madriyana uh, interim orders la vandu the special features and then the appoint Appointment of um, protection officers, NGOs, and medical examination, and the punishment. These are all under the salient features of the Act. So the objectives of the Domestic Violence Act. In an patona, the main object to create this Act is to identify and determine that every act of domestic violence is unlawful and punishable by law. see uh, first edadella domestic violence ingrada kandupidikanum so generally or thadikran titran radillama what is domestic violence ingrada identify panni adha vandu punishable and law va kondu varadhukku da inda inda act kondu varanga and to provide protection to victims of domestic violence in the cases such acts occurs so uh, and then the next thing is engela inda madriyana abuse nadakudho 
அங்க வந்து அவங்களை ப்ரொடெக்ட் பண்றதுக்காக மெயினா இந்த ஆக்ட கொண்டு வராங்க அண்ட் சர்வ் ஜஸ்டிஸ் இன் அ டைம்லி காஸ்ட் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் கன்வீனியன் மேனர் டு தி அக்ரீட் பர்சன் அண்ட் இதுல இம்பார்ட்டன்டான ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஆஃப் த ஆக்ட் என்னன்னா சி மெனி ஆஃப் யூ மே பிகம் அ மேஜிஸ்ட்ரேட் ஸோ வென் யூ ஆர் அப்ளைங் திஸ் ஆக்ட் த மெயின் கான்செப்ட் விச் ஹேவ் டு கீப் இன் மைண்ட் இஸ் தட் இந்த ஆக்ட பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் ஸ்பீடி ரெமெடி குயிக்கா தெர் இஸ் அ டைம் ஸ்டிபுலேஷன் அண்ட் சும்மா வாய்தா போடாம உடனே எடுத்து குயிக் ரெமெடி டு தி அக்ரீவ்ட் ஆர் அபியூஸ்ட் பர்சன் இஸ் தி அதர் மெயின் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஆஃப் தி ஆக்ட் ஸோ அட் த ஒன் இஸ் ப்ரிவென்ஷன் ஆஃப் commission of domestic violence and to take adequate steps if such violence occurs so domestic violence nareya nadakama irukkradhukku apdi nadakkra edangalla adha prevent pandradhukana valivagaila undakkradhukku da in the act kondu varanga to implement sufficient programs and agendas for the victims of domestic violence and to guarantee the recovery of such victims see idla vand victims vand they may be of various veracity victims sila nerangala chumma titti irukala psychological affect a irukala sila nerangala balatha kaayangal irukala and serious abuse irukala so and the madriyana nerangal and the madriyana victims protect pandrathu is the main object of the act uh, and then to create awareness among the people about domestic violence and the uh, object of the act enna na modala makkalukku vande what is domestic violence ingradoda awareness irundha da and uh, in the act pathi na awareness kudukumbodhu they can come and seek remedy or protection under the act so that is one among the object of the act and uh, to enforce harsh, harsh punishment and must hold the culprits accountable for committing such heinous act of violence so anyone who is committing offense such as domestic violence la edho one pandranga abingum bodu avangalukku adukana punishment severe a irukum they will be any if a veetla iruka or anna or thangachi adikiradhu thittradhu or unlawful la nadandukiradhu vandu romba easy common ingra concept mari uh, that is also punishable under law abdin kondu varnu so then the people will not do that to the women so and the madri and protection kudukradhukaga da in the act kondu varanga to lay down law and govern in govern it in accordance with the international standards for the prevention of domestic violence so not only with regard to india there are protection being given to women across the world so at par with other country namma urliyum protection to women must be ensured so for that object the act has been uh, enacted and came into force so these are the objects of the domestic violence act now i'll go to the um, other aspects now and they for sell a concepts other the domestic violence act is retrospective in nature no or position like that any act nam apply pannum bodu but the important question varu or case play out irukum bodu and the facts are based on whether it is uh, prospective in nature or retrospective in nature no or issue varu so domestic violence act eduthukum bodu whether it is prospective or retrospective i think everyone will know what is prospective and retrospective uh, if suppose any raw junior is there i would like to explain that prospective na enna na or act enforcement ku vandadhu apprama ulla incidents ku adu apply agum appina that's prospective and the act vandu adu and the enforcement vandha naal irundhu nadakkira vishayangalukku and the act ninga invoke pandrathu prospective nature but any fact which has happened before the commencement of the act in varumbodhu that is called retrospective in nature so appadi irukumbodhu domestic violence act vandu retrospective or prospective appadi or issue varudhu so that was considered in a case law uh, vd banet versus savita banet 2012 3 scc 183 in the case la vandu this issue was particularly discussed and then it was decided domestic violence act vandu retrospective in nature adavadhu ninga or husband and wife vandu several years munadi avanga onna irundhu vandanga appo abuse nadakkudhu but uh, at the time uh, of filing application avanga onna illana kuda they can um, invoke the provisions of this act abingiradha in the act la solliranga i'll just uh, read the gist of the judgment adha mattum na padichidren the conduct of the parties even prior to coming into force of the dv act could be taken into consideration while passing an order under sections 18 19 and 20 thereof 
the wife who had shared a household in the past but was no longer residing with her husband can file a petition under section 12 if subjected to domestic violence the other wife who had shared a household in the past uh, uh, wife vandha husband oda ore household la munadi irundanga but adukaprama illa so avanga kuda they can come and file a section under section uh, the petition under section 12 abingiradha in the judgment la solirukanga it was further observed where an act of domestic violence is once committed then a subsequent decree of divorce will not absolve the liability of the respondent from the offense committed or to deny the benefit of which aggrieved person is entitled to suppose sel nerangal la vande there will be complicated facts like domestic violence la section epo application potrupanga but divorce apply panirupanga divorce grant panirupanga so ipo question varum domestic violence la divorce e kudutadukapra there's no matrimonial relationship so ipo vande domestic violence invoke panna mudiyuma whether they can be punished under the act na or question varum bodu the uh, judgment in which uh, in the judgment la enna solirukanga na no uh, even நீங்க அந்த மேட்ரிமோனியல் ரிலேஷன்ஷிப்ப வந்து அது முடிவுக்கு வந்திருக்கலாம் பட் தட் டசன் அப்சால்வ் இந்த இந்த ஆக்ட்ல அவங்களுக்கு கொடுக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிற அந்த அபியூஸ்க்கான அந்த ரைட் டு இன்வோக் திஸ் ஆக்ட் தட் வில் நெவர் பி வேனிஷ்ட் சோ தே கேன் இன்வோக் அண்ட் ஃபைல் அண்ட் அப்ளிகேஷன் அப்படிங்கிறது தான் பொசிஷன் ஆஸ் அண்ட் டேட் தி லா இஸ் தட் சோ வென் சச் அன் இஷ்யூ கம்ஸ் யூ ஹேவ் டு திங்க் இட் லைக் தட் அண்ட் அப்ளை தி ஆக்ட் லைக் தட் so the next is uh, uh, saraswati versus babu id uh, vand division bench judgment mukhopadhyaya and gopala gowda judges pass panad uh, i'll just read the gist and then explain the act of domestic violence committed on the aggrieved person prior to coming into force of protection of dv act would fall within the definition of domestic violence and gives a cause of action to the aggrieved person to to sue the respondent so as i said earlier in the in the judgment liu division bench has said that continuing liability adna enna na munadi avanga onna vaandirukalam but aggrieved person vandu adukaprama at the time of filing application illa nalum the uh, of violence that is committed to her will come under the definition of domestic violence and the cause of action continues a irukum bodu she, she can sue the respondent and file an application before a magistrate under section 12 that's what ruled out in that judgment and then uh, shalini versus kishore this is again a supreme court bench judgment rafulla c pant de uh, is the author of the judgment so in the judgment la vande enna solirukanga na this judgment discusses about the issue of limitation so ipa enna na epo adicha epo titina avan vandu domestic violence la vandu thirumbo indha maadhiri application podlama cause of action irukuma adukku limitation aspect iruka so that aspect has been that issue has been considered in this judgment and uh, the honorable supreme court dealing with the issue of limitation under the dv act held that past relationship is a domestic relationship and proceedings and the dv is maintainable even if it is made after 15 years from the date of separate living by the couple and the proceedings are not liable to be dismissed if cause of action survives there cannot be restriction of limitation in seeking basic requirement and sections 18 to 22 of the act are indicative of the personal and social obligation of husband to legally maintain his wife and provide benefits so what is the just said in the judgment is see a, a section 18 to 22 la in the act la main a enna solranga na husband wife ku enna protection kudukanumo adha kudukala abindra pachathla that can be invoked adha application pola neenga protection kekkalam so apdi irukumbodhu issue of limitation ip munadi irundanga ana ip husband and wife are vaandittirundanga and then they they got separated 15 years after separation also they can file application abingiradhu da law so uh, that's a very important thing because uh, um, uh, before reading this judgment many of us will think that domestic violence vandu iniki nadandhu naalik application kudutha da cause of action survive agungiradhu da vandu general presumption so this is a very important judgment where it is being held that even 15 years before vandu avanga vaandhu adukapra separate aayi adukaprama when she is trying to invoke but appa enna na husband is not 
feeding them, not taking care of the child. So, and the mother and a cause of action survive agadhi. So, therefore, they can invoke the provisions of being radita in the judgment. So, next one, the, whether the Domestic Violence Act is civil law or criminal law. That is another important discussion on the act. In a na, uh, you see, normally, number one, we to abuse pandra, adi kranti trana one. We all uh, approach only the criminal uh, provisions, uh, CRPC leda, irkra provisions, and I'm invoke pano. But uh, for the first time, the these actors come into play where certain abuses are being uh, conducted or uh, abuse happens to any woman then uh, this act comes into place so the magistrate kita powers so there was a huge uh, discussion on the subject that whether it is a civil one or a criminal law confusion and recently that was uh, resolved by the honorable high court by uh, uh, judgment on the aspect judgments what is being held whether it is civil or criminal i am going to highlight now so at the first judgment in AIR 2019 Supreme Court 1790 Rupali Devi versus State of Uttar Pradesh. So this is the one that I have I'll just read that and then explain. Jurisdiction under Section 498A of IPC. Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act is to provide a civil remedy to victims of domestic violence as against the remedy in criminal law, which is what is provided under 498A of IPC. So the main object is that 498A IPC, we all know that if any cruelty is being committed by the husband or his relatives, then the women can seek, they are liable to punishment. So, other Tandi, uh, a remedy to the victims who are being suffered in a domestic atmosphere. So, So, apart from IPC, this is a civil procedure which is being brought to play to protect women. So, the courts are place where wife takes shelter after leaving or being driven away from a matrimonial home on account of acts of cruelty committed by husband or as relatives would be dependent on factual situation also have jurisdiction to entertain a complaint alleging commission of offense under section 498a of ipc so there is another judgment uh, which is uh, saying that the uh, domestic violence act is of civil nature obtained red one the inner judgment 2008 lj 264 Madhya Pradesh MP Ajay Kan Sharma and others versus Srimati Alka Sharma. Uh, in the judgment, see, except uh, section 19, the execution of bond or procedure in the act. La. So, uh, and uh, dealing the same as provided under chapter 8 of CRPC. So, in the execution of bond in the procedure at Tavra, 18 to 22, la, purely of civil nature. Tha. If an act of the barrack that thing in 18 length 22 very good, what sort of protections when an application can be made, circumstances will I explain. So, all that is of a civil nature. So, the uh, the judgment holds that yeah, the provisions under section 18 to 22 of the act is purely of civil nature in Greta in the judgment. They have upheld it, and then other judgment Vijay Paskar versus Suganya Devi. 2010 MHC, uh, this is uh, Raja Surya J. Oda judgment. It is a very important judgment with regard to Domestic Violence Act. No, in the judgment, Domestic Violence Act is essentially a civil law. And in no aspect, I will explain regarding issuing of summons. For that aspect, also in the judgment, issuing of summons is within the purview of the magistrate. Yarla responded about Ranglo, Yelarko, Samla and Lankurka Devela. The magistrate should apply their mind and then issue summons up in Redavandi in the judgment line enforced by the So that the Domestic Violence Act is essentially a civil law. That's what being laid down in this judgment. Okay, yeah. so and then um, P. Ganesan versus M. Revati, Prema Rubini.
Sorry, there is a internet problem. I got disconnected. Sorry. No problem. I'll continue, sir. So next one, the, we were discussing about the um, issue of civil, uh, act when the civil law, criminal law, the major issue when the, was decided by Division Bench of Madras High Court uh, in 2022, which is a very important judgment presently, which holds uh, a good law. In a, na, there was a big confusion in the, in the issue on the, whether family courts have to decide or magistrate have to decide which is civil in nature or criminal in nature in the issue Varumbodh, that is referred to a larger bench and then uh, difference in opinion in the, so that was referred and uh, uh, Sundar Mohan Jayavanda, he passes a common order in that case and uh, I'll just uh, points Matron I explain Pandra uh, just listen to it carefully to sum up to answer our answer to the questions referred are as follows. The proceedings under Chapter 4 of the Domestic Violence Act are civil in nature. So that was the finding given by the court. This court can exercise power under four, Section 482 CRPC in respect of Domestic Violence Act proceedings. Actually, there was an issue. 482 la I court la vandha application poda modima vandama abdingradu or issue irundhudu so that was referred and they answered it saying this court can exercise power under section 482 CRPC in respect of domestic violence act abdinu help pannanga and then uh, section 468 CRPC is not applicable for proceedings under domestic violence act that is the finding given by the court and then we cannot by a judicial exercise determine the period of limitation in the absence of any provision under the act prescribing limitation um see again on the uh, limitation aspect but in a monarchy or judgment so again in this judgment they have held it saying that um Express one if there is no provision prescribing limitation, na, uh, we cannot exercise judicial uh, limitation and uh, enforce uh, they have held it like that. And then uh, proceedings under the Domestic Violence Act cannot be transferred from a magistrate to a civil or a family court at the instant of the respondent defined under 2Q of the Domestic Violence Act. However, the proceeding can be transferred at the instance of the applicant's victim or without consent. Any proceeding about domestic violence act initiate upon the proceeding of under, it cannot be transferred to the magistrate or family court. Yepo na respondent or instance respondent under it has to be transferred to the family court. It has to be transferred in case of both that should not be entertained. But suppose the applicant to a victim is seeking like that, she wants to refer it to the family court or any transfer she is seeking na. That can be entertained up being rather in the judgment. And then now we'll go to the key definitions of the Domestic Violence Act. In the Act La Vanda, uh, 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 there will be definitions of particular words uh, which is very important while you apply the act. But in the act, uh, it plays a major role. Why? Because uh, with any uh, issue or an abuse is happening, uh, the magistrate has to first find out whether it is really an abuse and will that come into the purview of this act? I've been determined panna the next issue kupona. So for which the definitions plays a major, major role in this act. So aggrieved person that is being defined in section 2A of the act uh, in which it says any woman who has been in a domestic relationship with a respondent or who alleges to have been subjected to any domestic violence. So then they are uh, 
coming under the definition of aggrieved person. That is, the women are there, they are in a shared household, in a domestic relationship, and if they are in a domestic violence, then they will be able to invoke the provisions under this act. And um, I will take you to the case laws uh, which defines these uh, definitions. So Rukmani and six others versus Manonmani and two others, 2017, 2TLNJ 640, uh, dated 11 12 2017. So in the judgment, uh, it was a quash proceedings at the bottom of the That is an issue of quash. Why is a vexatious proceeding against the family members were invoked? Uh, they, they, the court has ruled out saying that definition is very important. Um, that the petitioners and the respondent are not related by way of consanguinity, marriage, or through a relationship in the nature of marriage or adoption or family members. So in the Mati in the relationship may affiliate the Illa Davanga. Chuma vengeance ka if they are filing or any application, they're trying to misuse the provisions of the domestic violence act. Magistrates have to be careful and vigilant about it, and they have to uh, dismiss those applications instead of entertaining it. Abdingrada in the judgment of Surikanga. And then Krishna Bhattachari versus Saradi Chaudhary and another 2016 2 SCC 705. This is a Supreme Court judgment. Um, The issue is uh, claim of recovery of Sridhana two years after a decree of judicial separation is maintainable. So, separation does not change the status of husband and a wife. So, wife wonder as an aggrieved person to Ayla, she can file an application under Section 12 seeking uh, that uh, um, she is an aggrieved person. And uh, domestic violence, la, uh, in a husband and wife, killer, can win our judgment. La, so, no, madam, mere separation does not absolve them from claiming protection under this act. So, that has been reinstated in this. So, uh, in the act, and so ranga, application under uh, section 12 by the wife is not barred by any limitation that has been upheld in this act also and uh, in this judgment also. And next judgment in Anna, Amit Agarwal and others versus Sanjay Agarwal and others. This is again a Supreme Court judgment. Um, there was an important different aspect of the aggrieved person definition. Then I will not path then in any person being abused or aggrieved. That person can seek, uh, that woman can seek is the definition pato. But uh, this judgment, uh, even the persons related to the aggrieved person is kangala. If aggrieved person is kangala, some, some cases la, the aggrieved person may not even able to come to court. Under Madri scenario, la, nariya cases la erko. So, apo, the aggrieved person's relative can also come and file application under Section 12. That is what uh, uh, clarified in this judgment. And then I'll go to the next definition domestic relationship. Uh, section 2F level, the domestic relationship defined. So, relationship between two persons live or lived together in a shared see live or lived is very important either living together now or earlier they lived together so both of them is uh, coming under the definition of domestic relationship domestic relation and uh, especially they should have lived in the same house that is another important criteria so that will constitute a domestic relationship domestic relationship can be related by consanguinity uh, marriage relationship in the nature of marriage such as live in relationship adoption or joint family so now you can uh, domestic relationship uh, 
there should not be a misconception that it should be husband and wife relationship the act defines that domestic relationship is the consanguinity in a blood related relationship a man and a woman living as a brother and sister or a daughter and a father or by relationship by way of a marriage or relationships by way of marriage madriye nature ulla live in relationships illana adoption illa joint family all this will come under the domestic relationship and in the relationship la irukravanga they can seek protection under the act so adha than sonna ma sisters widows mothers single women living in any other uh, relationship with the respondent adha the person who claims to have abused the aggrieved person avangalukku vande they are entitled to re legal protection under the dv act so idukana case laws i am going to give you now there are uh, two case laws bandana versus t shrikant and krishnamachari 2007 sec online madras 553 idla vande just ram subramanyam oda judgment idu uh, it is held that 2f 2s and 17 of the dv act idukku vande there is a widest interpretation possible evlo widest interpretation kudukka mudiyuma avlo kudukano appadina court themselves have said uh, the court after observing various instances and situations held that many women may not even enter into the matrimonial home immediately after marriage therefore it was concluded that a healthy and correct interpretation to section 2f and 2s of the dv act would be that words love or have at any point of time lived so na erkenna sonna and the love or lived plays a major difference and important role in the act while you are uh, trying to frame an offense or uh, constitute an offense under this act so apo supreme court la justice ram subramanyam he is highlighting that while you are interpreting the domestic relationship wider interpretation irukano so apt interpretation enna va irukalana love or at Uh, have at any point of time lived edavadhu oru nerathla avanga onna vaalndu irundhalume they will come under the purview of uh, this act would include in its purview the right to live as interpreted above so that's the uh, important aspect laid down in that judgment again in uh, prabha tyagi versus kamlesh devi 2022 live law sc 474 Uh, the division bench judgment m r shah and nagaratna avangaloda judgment idu so in the judgment la enna solirukanga na as i have already explained uh, and the subsisting domestic relationship patti da idliya solirupanga section 12 la vanda neenga application podumbodu uh, subsisting domestic relationship can be considered it is not necessary on the time of filing application aggrieved person vanda uh, அந்த ரிலேஷன்ஷிப்ல இருக்கணும்ன்றது not necessary as earlier judgment lesson amari if they lived past relationship also can be considered so i'll just read the gist of the judgment um there should be a subsisting domestic relationship between the aggrieved person and the person against whom the relief is claimed this was allegation of domestic violence however it is not necessary that at the time of filing an application by an aggrieved person the domestic relationship should be subsisting even if an aggrieved person is not in a domestic relationship with a respondent in a shared household at the time of filing application but has at any point of time lived or subjected to domestic violence on account of domestic relationship is entitled to file application so it is very clear that here can we avanga onna vaalnde if she has been subjected to domestic violence now she can invoke uh, provision under section 12 is the clarity given in the judgment next definition is shared household section 2 s la ena solirukanga na what is shared household because uh, we are repeatedly saying and talking about shared household so that has to be defined appropriately whether the person aggrieved lives at any stage has lived in a domestic relationship either singly or along with the respondent you see very important that she lived alone or along with the respondent and includes such a household whether owned or 
tenanted either jointly by the aggrieved person and the respondent or owned or tenanted by either of them see uh, this is very important because uh, we rush to court when there is a grievance under the domestic violence act so uh, while considering these application magistrates have to apply their mind before taking up the application and they have to see if a shared household irkunu abdingrathu that has been described so shared household eh vandu avanga either they can own it separately or they can own it jointly or they can take it in rent uh separately or jointly so all that is coming under the definition and the madri irukra ellame vand shared household da so apdi or confusion varumbodhu this definition gives a very uh, clarity that they jointly or singly have any right interest or equity include such a household which may belong to the joint family of which the respondent is a member irrespective of whether the respondent or the aggrieved person has any right title or interest in the shared household see the important thing is avangalukku and the household la edho right irukano avanga anga irukiradukana urima irukano legally that should be their own house and the madri that there can be a confusion that avanga rendu peru seyndu onna vaangi matrimonial home adu illa inga definition shared household has a different definition which is uh, the both of them aggrieved person and the respondent ஒன்னா சேர்ந்து வாழ்ந்தது எதை தெனண்டடா இருக்கலாம் ஓண்டா இருக்கலாம் சேர்ந்து ஒன்னா இருந்ததா இருந்தால் மட்டுமே போதுமானது டு இன்வோக் தி ப்ரொவிஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் தி சார் just 1 minute sir i'll take a small break sir 1 second sir sir uh, i think i have some more topics to cover can we continue on some other day uh, yes madam na my no nal schedule panniklama ena innu there is a nariya judgments irukku chat several pages inno or nal continue pannala nenikiren because it will be boring appdi paste irundona so na i i think adukku munadi i will try to circulate the uh, to- notes kuda na circulate pannidren so that while discussing it will be easy for everyone to have the notes and then uh, discuss pandradhukku okay okay ma'am thank you ma'am okay sir thank you jetra ma'am romba nalla irundhathu romba naal kelichu unga voice kekkra romba sandoshama irukku ma'am nalla eduthinga class thank you very much engalukku vandu konjam limitation act indha maadhiri konjam civil la eduthu kudutinga romba useful ah irukum thank you so much ungalukku unga voice kekkave thank you nalla irundhathu class thank you thank you thank you i think ah na vandu romba apdi padichite irukka maari வேண்டாம் நினைச்சேன் பட் நிறைய ஜட்மெண்ட்ஸ் இருக்கிறதுனால நோ ஆப்ஷன் அந்த ஜட்மெண்ட் சொல்லி சொல்லி एक्सप्लेन பண்ண வேண்டியதா இருக்கு ஐ ஹோப் தட் இட் இஸ் நாட் சோ போரிங் மேடம் அப்படி எல்லாம் இது இல்ல மேம் நல்லா கன்னி பண்ணுங்க சார் மேடம் ரொம்ப இது थैंक यू இது சட்ட குயில் கூவிச்சா சட்ட கிளி பேசிச்சான் தெரியல Thank you. Actually, yeah. now, there is a lot of time to prepare. You all know, practicing advocate, especially women, we don't have time at all to prepare and all. So, Urmati, I try to do justice. Uh, if there is any flaws, uh, please uh, uh, adjust with that. Okay? That's why you can't say your name, or your name, or your name, or your name. That's why you can't say your name. thank you thank you and yaar uh, raw juniors irkinga na you can see my videos in youtube adu vandu cpc la romba basic ah it will be like a story from starting ninga plain file panadlende judgment appeal varaikum eppadi proceed aagum abdinga nare per inga practice ke varama civil civil judge exam prepare pandravanga irpinga so please don't go into the examination just like that with a barcode solradhu vera but practice pannum bodhu and the purview ve vera maadhiri irukum so if suppose you get time ninga adha listen panninga na it will be just like the flow of a story nama suit plain file panadlende judgment kudukra varaikum adu eppadi nagarungradhu or or imagination or world ku lo ungala kondu po mudiyum nenikiren so our 30 videos irukum so if, if that can be helpful ena i am strong in uh, suits and other so uh, but i am okay. giving 
different topic now so other yarkachi thevana you can go and watch that in the youtube uh, mount news channel la irukum sattamam nam kadamem nu or show irukku so adhu family family law that is been explained in the adliye solirpa so adhu vandu it will be like basic general da romba case laws la illa irukada because uh, uh, to be useful to the general public and to the raw juniors and the videos upload panirpom so you can take help of that also okay i'll continue it on some other day we'll fix a date nitya